Okay, I want to use this as a backdrop. This is a Golophosaurus, and uh, it was either him or one of his cousins that was chronicled in the Anglo-Saxon uh, tome Beowulf. If you remember, Beowulf was summoned by the King of the Geats uh, to uh, to kill the monster Grendel. And Grendel, uh, he pulls off one of Grendel's arms. Uh, and Grendel had teeth like iron, but he didn't have really big arms. So if you look at it in one way, he could be describing a theropod attacking them. And uh, the, the story of Beowulf, uh, Beowulf kills two of the monsters. He ends up tracking down Grendel's mother and killing it. And then he's killed by the third uh, monster. So... Keep an open mind if you read Beowulf and think that, uh, and then put dinosaur in place of the monster. And remember the, the word monster, uh, excuse me, the word dinosaur was not invented until around the year 1845. Before that, in the Bible, they were called dragons. And all the uh, ancient uh, peoples had stories about monsters and dragons. Uh, the Chinese culture is replant with them. And you need to ask yourself, well, uh, how did crocodiles and alligators and Komodo dragons make it through to modern times, but the dinosaurs didn't? Uh, the truth is, dinosaurs have lived with man until recently. If you look at the uh, recent findings by uh, Mark Armitage, he broke up, broke open a, uh, a bone off of a Triceratops, which is a cousin of this thing, and found viable tissue. He was teaching his, his students out in California how to harvest it. It wasn't biofilm. Uh, Mary Schweitzer came up with the uh, T-Rex uh, thigh bone that had uh, cells, blood cells in it. And Jack Horner, the world's leading paleontologist, also found it, which, uh, now he'll, he'll say we just don't know the uh, mechanism by, by where the, uh, uh, the, the unfossilized bone exists. So how does something make it 65 million years without just turning to nothing? Now, Mary Schweitzer just came out and said, well, the, the reason we, and she was trying, she's trying to save her career because this obviously throws out the, the theory of evolution uh, that dinosaurs and man are separated by 65 million years. They're obviously not. Uh, so she came out with this new theory that the iron, iron somehow preserved the uh, cells. And uh, it's, it's, you know, obviously untestable. But the fact is, the there are unfossilized dinosaur bones with examinable tissue uh, blood vessels and the like in it uh, Jack Horner was offered money to have it carbon dated and, you know carbon dating only goes back about 55,000 years he says well it'd be useless to do it because they're obviously 65 million years old and they said well we'll pay you $25,000 to test it and he kept saying him hawing around and uh, he knows the jig is up, as if you will, if you will say it, it that way. And uh, I think that's one of the reasons why Sue was seized by the feds in the Dakotas and just given to the uh, Chicago Museum. It was one of the most complete uh, Tyrannosaurus skeletons, and it was probably also one of the younger ones. So dinosaurs have always been with man. There's, they're probably only in the sea now, and there might be a few in Africa. And there could very well be some pterodactyl-like uh, uh, beasts in the uh, in Borneo. They call them the Condamano and the Ropen. And it would make sense that they would last longer because they can fly out of out of harm's way. Anyway, check out the seminal works of Kent Hoven. Uh, check out Mark Armitage, uh, Ken Ham, and. Uh, do a little research on your own uh, and, and substitute the word uh, dragon in, in, or substitute dinosaur in the word dragon when you're reading the Bible. And uh, that's all. And I got timbosplace.com. Thank you. I'm out.